Warning, this podcast contains mature content including scenes or descriptions of graphic violence, sexuality, and psychological trauma. Listener discretion is advised. The Rancor's Brothel presents... Mothership, a sci-fi horror RPG by Tuesday Night Games. You see, um, you can kind of make out in the corner now that you can get your flashlight in and everything's not frozen. It appe- There appears to be a, a, a form in like the back right corner. It's like a bo- rough body shape that's Am I misinterpreting covered in this? Is this, a, is this an upright door? I think I'm misinterpreting this. I feel yeah, it's like an I, upright door. It's a walk-in I don't know why I thought this was like a on the floor a freezer. Chest. Yeah, like a chest. No, it's a walk-in. It's a walk-in. I swear, yeah, I thought he said chest. Freezer. Um, <laughs> then I shout, I don't know. Um, Did it nip you in there? Yeah. <laughs> Hands in the air, step forward. I don't know. All right. Any response? Does it move? No. Does it chitter? It does not. Does it growl? It does not. Does it breathe? I fucking shoot it. <laughs> you said this thing was like pressure sealed. Is that what was keeping it locked? Um. Yeah, let's let's say yeah. I think that, that that's fair. I think that it, well, I'm trying to think. So then the door should it. just open now? I mean, I, I would think if if that's the case, then we could, if we just open I would it. think with the broken lock, you've equalized the pressure. I mean, there shoot, be the a, Android can reach in. There should be a push you, button. You, you feel like inside. you can figure out a way to mechanically yeah. lever yeah. it. Okay. But as you start to do that, you do realize that it was sealed from the inside. Like, it, like if you think about the freezer door, right, You if you've ever been in a walk-in freezer, it, it has a, a solid hard lock. Yeah, but there's also usually a push button to open it from the inside. Side. Right. Someone has jimmied it to make it harder to open from the outside. Gotcha. Yeah. Somebody ran in here and then yeah, probably yeah. froze to death. I opened the door. You open the door. You feel the, again, the, 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 now the wave of cold even more is strong. Like you, you're actually getting condensation. Um, uh, for those of you who smell, you get that sort of like that, that biting, tingling, raising hairs on the inside of your nose feeling from the cold. Um, but you do see, you do see a, a, the form of a body off to the side. How, how big? is this freezer uh it's walk-in so i don't know maybe i'm Probably kind of imagining two or three people in it maybe uh it's a little row. bit bigger than that I mean, I mean i've been in some big walk-in freezers right no no no. i don't think it's like a i don't think it's like a we would say maybe like a, a five by seven space okay. like a decent size it's a dorm room but it's not like a commercial like 30 by 30 sure. walk-in freezer i don't think it's quite that big but you do got to think that they need if they need to keep something cold and, you know, the fact that they're out here in the middle of nowhere, it's still a decent size. Say maybe 10 by 10 at the most. Uh, what are your cells? Eight by eight? Or is nine by nine? No big deal. No big deal. I go up and check the body. Is there a nine by the beds are you on this see side? A, um, you see the corpse <laughs> of a frozen Marine and a discarded metal case. The frozen Marine is wearing a tinfoil hat. <laughs> That's uh, fun. I, once again, I will check the dog tags and pull them. Lieutenant Corporal Resnick. He is clutching a a plastic vacuum tumbler. So like a like a uh, drink tumbler? Um no, this would be more um scientific. Yeah, a little bit more like a um I would like to pry that from his cold dead hands. <laughs> Uh, sure. Okay. If I can't, then I'll drag him out into the hallway until he thaws, and then we'll pry it from his hand. So, as I was saying, it's 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 like a plastic vacuum tumbler, so I'm thinking like a, a, a thermos, but this is something that's more scientific or medical grade, right? Uh, Lucas, fear safe? I gotta say, you... Because I touched a dead arm. body? Huh? Because of a dead body? No. No, because you're going to break his arms off when you pull the thing. That's a 17 out of... 41, so. Apparently, you're very fine with the snap, crackle, and pop as the fingers and part of his hand come with the case that you just uh, took. See, this is why I was coming in first. It's kind of on that mod, knock him off. Sorry, is a finger still stuck to that? I hand it to a scientist. <laughs> no, does it say like TGRI on the side? What is it? Yeah, 100% is what it says. No, it's. it's uh, you, uh, 
you I don't think you would know. It doesn't say anything. It has absolutely nothing. Not even a serial uh, no, number. There's, there's there's liquid in it. No, no, I just I did there's but there's no label, nothing no. on the outside written etched in. No. Whatsoever. All right. I mean, I'm taking it with me. Sure. I checked gonna... the discarded metal container for any identified um, items. It uh, um it is a uh it, it's again sort of a, it's a medical case, you know, it's clearly got a medical symbol on it. You could open it kind of like a first aid kit looking thing. Mm-hmm. Opening it? I do. Okay. You find um, 25 liters of um, something labeled as fro- as uh, 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 chemotherapeutic agents. Mm. Would mm. it's got some writing on it? Like you can read it, you just don't necessarily know what the fuck it is. Mm. Would anybody in our group have any sort of um, uh, well, I don't know, it's in the dossier of like individuals in the in the crew that should be here, whether or not they have that was not provided. Yeah, background like medical background info. Well, since. I have at least a little bit of knowledge. I know that that is toxic as hell. Yeah, well, I mean, we're going to leave it in the tube. <laughs> no, no, no. What he's, no, no, I have... I what have he's the, got is separate from the tube. Hmm. The case and the tube are not related. It's not like he opened up an empty case. He opened up a case with stuff in it. Does it need to stay frozen? Chemotherapeutic agents? Typically not. You wouldn't You, you wouldn't think so. You don't know. <laughs> That's what Two I Marines asked. and an android. And a pizza place. And a group of other individuals. Yeah. You know, that show was actually really fucking funny. It was funny. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it Until, a lot for some reason, season two, they just dropped the pizza place. Just called it two guys and a girl. I thought it was weird. Anything else you guys would like to do? Troy, you're kind of standing to the back as they're investigating things, things that you would like to do. Is there anything else? In the freezer, no. So just marine thermos case. Correct. Tin foil hat. Uh, you do see that there is a, um, a vent in the ceiling. Open? Like a no. jar? Uh, nope, it's a vent. Um, <laughs> no. I, said, I said the same joke when we played Death in Space. No, it's not a. Uh, the door was a jar, but not quite. It's not. Um, it's not like that kind of. Um, the door. The, it was something that was helping to pressurize and keep the room cool at some point. It's not like your classic. Um, what I want to say, Die Hard. I'm crawling in the vents kind of vent. But there is. There's clearly airflow from somewhere else to here. Do I f- actually feel air coming through? Um, probably a, uh, like just very slightly, because if you think about it, you did just crack that open and now you've got cold and warm hitting each other. So it would be similar yeah. to like opening your door on a on a day when the temperature outside is drastically different from the inside. You would feel that flow Fair. from hot to cold, from high to low pressure, etc. Do I see any means of like a <clears throat> like power box or anything? Yeah, there would have there would have been controls for like temperature and stuff in here. Here for sure. And he chose to freeze himself. I feel like he didn't have a choice. If I like click it to the mildest of temperatures. Mm-hmm. It, it clicks, but nothing, nothing changes. Okay. Hmm. Still lack of power. Well, yeah, but something is independently powering this thing. Uh, move on to the next room. Uh, so you go back through the pantry, through the commissary, anything you want to do or look at in the commissary. So there were shell casings. Yes, there are bullet casings all over the ground. You guess what? See what size bullet by uh, the casing? Uh, Somebody with military training would know that. Yeah, yeah, no, you would know. It is. Um, Cody doesn't know because he doesn't know a whole lot about guns. Um, but it would be. It would be. It would be nothing that you wouldn't six expect whatever your sort of standard issue smgs or pulse rifles that's the kind of you know case that you would expect to see. there are no weapons lying around the only body part literally is just the head no other body parts uh i mean i'm gonna case the room at this point yeah no as you go to case the room um or any viscera of any kind no right. no, no no as and you start to look the around. smell of death right so which could just be come from the one head what do you want i'm getting there relax uh when you go towards the uh, upturned table with the cake uh, splattered all over the floor, mm-hmm. um, as you get a little bit closer, you see that a human arm um, protrudes from underneath the table. So it's like someone had flipped the table onto themselves, onto themselves, or like down for cover or something like that. Pulled it down on top of themselves. Hard to tell. Um, and under the table is a headless corpse in fatigues. Um, is the headless corpse the same skin tone as the head? <laughs> Can we you, presume this is the body of the head? Uh, you would think so, yes. Can we just Lego that back on? Check for um, dog, dog tags again. Yeah, that is a good, yeah. Correct. Uh, Lieutenant Corporal Xavier. A lot of the Lieutenant Corporals around here. You do see that- um, Two. Two. What was the other, what, what was the second, second guy? Second Lieutenant. Oh, second Lieutenant, sorry. Um, a lot of Lieutenants around here. 
you do see that the now this is weird to think about. everyone's in charge no privates the headless corpse has a hole in its neck heavy smoker um, so yes, I would say that it is like a, uh, almost like a tracheotomy gone incredibly wrong. Mm, yeah, whatever you say. Mm. The skin is also covered in paper cuts. All right. The paper cut thing again. Must have had a paper tornado. My assumption right now is that little insects burst their way out or climb. Or that, that's what I'm thinking. Burrow their way through like a tube worm. I don't know. I mean, are they just like straight cuts? Like if you look at the shingles of a roof or is it like as if a worm has gone through their face? No, I mean, it's it's like somebody sat there and gave you a whole bunch of crisscross paper cuts. Uniform in any way or just random? All sort of basically similar size. I mean, like, are they all like? No, they're not parallel? all like patterned or parallel. Yeah, or, all, yeah, yeah they're that's, kind that's of a good call. Crisscrossed. Um, but they're, yeah, they well, don't make you they jump, jump. Like a pattern. Hmm? So they make you jump, jump. Um, no. But like I said, the, the, the one distinguishing feature is like the, the, the head must have been taken off very close to the jawline because there's a decent stump of neck still on the corpse. Okay. Um, and like I said, what's Clean left cut. of the neck has like a it's as if is as if something slit from uh, vertically up and down the throat because the throat is like opened up so that you can see the I guess what you call it, the top of the esophagus, the throat, the voice box, it's the voice box. All. But all that's still there. Epiglottis? It's not been like removed. Uh, the guy who has a medical degree is talking. Do no, I, don't worry about it. <laughs> he knows anatomy. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm describing it to the lay people. <laughs> yeah. The people who are probably even smarter than all of us put together. Oh, yeah. Um, we have some listeners that are way smarter than us. Yeah. Um, we're dumb as fuck. Uh, no, sorry. I was going to, sorry. My, I was, was going to ask, is it a clean cut or was it like, is it as if it was ripped off the body? As you begin to inspect, Lucas. I shall. Uh, make me a fear safe, please. For fuck's sake. Death means nothing to me. You're apparently jumpy as hell. It's another 17. All right. Well, you're doing all right then. Um, apparently it means nothing to you. The cut is very up and down. So like from the, um, oh, what do you call it? From the, uh, I guess that'd be the top of the sternum. Like yeah. from the top of the sternum all the way up. So it's a, what would it be? Like a six inch incision that's laid open. Um, when you go over there, cause you're like, eh, the voice box and everything's still there. You realize that it's basically an open cavity. And as you kind of like look down, like you're like, I'm not a doctor, but like there should be anatomy in there. Yeah. There's not. Mm. And I got to speak with dad. Uh, remember where I said there's not anatomy there? It's going to be real hard to no. speak to something that doesn't have, no longer has a voice box or. Anybody in our group have mysticism? <laughs> functioning lungs or okay. most of anything <clears throat> that belongs inside a chest cavity is gone. So the chest cavity is scooped out is what you're telling us. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's gone. I don't know. Through, what the, through the neck hole. That is one interpretation. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't know that you would be able to contemplate. The body does that. not, the, the, the body does not have claw wound marks. No. Nope. Once again, just the head is gone. Correct. Um, well, not gone. We found the head. <laughs> I think he had asked a question more towards the head and neck separation. Yeah. Was it, it ripped off yeah. or cut off? Is the oh. head, like, is it clean? Does it look like a clean cut? That's, that's what, that was uh, my question. Not like guillotine clean. It's not like ravaged, like bitten off clean. It definitely came off in a pretty solid stroke. We'll we'll, we'll say uh, the uh, the executioner had to hit the neck a couple of times. Like okay. it's, But it's, it's been it's hacked like, through, not ripped off. It I is don't know cut. That you, I don't know that you could tell that. I think he could by the way the, the skin. Skin is left, is left laying. Uh, I don't know. I don't think any of us have the skill set for that. Well, right what, now. what would that mean? Being a scientist, I think. Well, I think it's I think it's technically under zoology, actually. There's pathology, field <laughs> zoolo- medicine, no, because zoology, zoology, <laughs> no, 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 no. The way that the structure is, zoology then goes into field medicine. So that is, there's no anatomy. I would like it's to point out that zoology. the skill tree does branch in a number of different places, and I don't think zoology is the only way to get to field medicine. It actually is. And then I'm pretty sure doesn't he also say that there's pathology as well? <laughs> no, li- zoology literally is the only one that goes down to field medicine. All right, if well, these arrows are correct. You need a you need a zoology roll. Let's see. Botany gets you there, Lucas. Like literally the next thing down. No, botany goes to ecology only. It oh, doesn't no. go up. Yes, it does. See these little Branch side branches? Sucks. That's how that's how the arrows work. <laughs> oh, okay. I do side see. Branches. I see what you're saying. Like, I guess I can see what you're saying. Yeah, it's, it's how lines work. <laughs> 
just like botany goes to ecology and it goes all the way down to wilderness survival as well. I guess you can determine it that way. Yeah, sure. but neither of those, like... Nothing else goes to field medicine other than zoology and botany. It's weird for them to say zoology. It's the I think study of animals. It's the study, yeah. Uh, yeah, which will be mammals or humans. So I feel like that's just an all-encompassing thing. Uh, Do you have I zoology? Think you guys are all caught up on the skills. Do you have zoology? No, uh, I don't. The scientist that I made does. Are we using that? I don't know. That I keep utilizing him as an NPC until my guy dies. So basically the insides were sucked out because the, the head was cut off semi cleanly. Mm. And somebody I, I would say it's a, ragged, but it's not like incredibly ragged. It wasn't gnawed on or something. It came off with force. As of, as a side question though. Sure. Is the slit from the basically top of the sternum all the way up, is that also clean or does that That is fairly a, clean, yeah. That is that is like closer to surgical than the other one. So whatever cut off the head and open the neck at least is aware enough to be accurate instead of just... It knows where the organs are. Mm-hmm. It knows Maybe. how to get to them fairly cleanly. Maybe. You hear some thumping in the distance farther in the... Kind of like a clatter, a thump. Which direction? Uh, Farther... North? Yeah, we'll call that north. That's fine. You're not, you're not sure where, but it's farther in the facility. Is it coming from the barricaded hallway or is it coming from the Bar- other... The other if we're doing north, south, it, east, west, it, north h- would be the open hallway. It, it's hard to tell, like, because it, it's kind of coming from both directions because all those Always kind of connect. I, 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 I get that. That's. Yeah. What, I mean, that's. that's Lock valid. and load. Yeah, you you would think you would think if we're doing north, south, east, west, then you would think northwest corner. But is that west? Is that north? Is that northwest corner? Up there could be in the hallway, could be in a room. You have to kind of head that way to find out. Was it a single or is it continuing? That's a good question. Is you kind of like at, at this point, I imagine you like walk in a direction and kind of just stop and cock your head a little mm-hmm. bit. Do this thing. You kind of get like it's a. You know that feeling like uh, if you ever had an animal, um, it's like two o'clock in the morning and you keep hearing like a, like they're fucking around doing something that they're trying to get the fucking trash can. Right. Yes. Yeah. An animal getting in the trash can when you know, like they know they're not supposed to either. So they're like batting at it. So it's like Russell Russell and then it stops and then thump, thump, thump. So it is continuous, just not a solid thing. Correct. It's not a mechanical thump, 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 thump. It's kind of Russell Russell thump. God damn. Russell's always getting into everything. Russell in the bushes. bushes. Um, Uh, Let's go north. Did we cover everything in this room, I guess? Mm-hmm. I guess we did, the important bits. Yeah, I would say you did. All right. Let's go north, check in the hallways before we enter, left and right. Sure. Yeah, you kind of reach a you kind of reach reach a four-way jump. You can take lead. Do we want to investigate sa- sa- the sound, or do we want to... Yeah, if it's a person, we want to find them. Check these rooms. <laughs> if it's a person, yes. If it's I not a say, person, then no. <laughs> well, I would say let's move, let's move up to, like, right here, stop and listen and see if we can determine the direction it's coming from. So there's a tiny hallway from the mess into a T. Well, I'm assuming if it's coming from both the, the, the those hallways, it's going to be to the west. I think we would have to get here and take a hard listen roll to, to figure out the actual direction of the disturbance. So if it's even close enough for us to do that. Well, I think you're going to get a f- more feasible listen from here than in here because now you're at the T. That makes sense to you? Yeah, I know what you said. I'm left okay. to you guys. I stop and listen. Okay, so you're, it's not a T, it's a four way intersection. That's a fair point now that I look at it this direction. <laughs> But it's still, it still branches left and right. It, right. And it also goes forward, just making sure that we're all on the same page. From, this, from, from over here, it doesn't look like that lines up directly, but it does. Um, so as you step out and kind of listen, it's definitely coming from the west now. So it's not in front of you. It's definitely, like Troy said, it, it's coming from kind of both directions. So you get the sense that it's probably that, that top left corner of the map. Okay. I look at our fearless leader. I will glance into the round room up the north. What what does that room look like? Uh, probably a closed door. You would know, however, that the the round rooms are probably more operational in nature. There's no window at all. No, this is probably just an interior door, just yeah, to keep out makes, noise and stuff. Makes sense. Could be storage. Could be a bedroom. Well, we we determined, we determined that the square rooms are the living quarters, so it could be storage or it could be fucking anything. You said it was a locked interior door? No, I didn't say it was was locked. locked. We just said it was closed. You're welcome to check the door. I mean, I I kind of, I kind of, we can have some, we can have like, he and I can look out and make make sure nothing else is coming and you can, we can check out that room. If it, if it's the generator room, then I feel like that's a priority, even though we're hearing some banging. I'll look left. You look right. You can open that door if you want to try. I want to open the door. 
So you guys are going, I can't see what you're doing, but you're going straight straight north, straight north. to that big round yeah. room at the top. He too. and I are standing basically at either side of the small corridor from the mess hall. Okay, so you're looking east and west. East, he's east, I'm west. Okay. And then so you, he's going north. You're covering. Right. Uh, you go up. Again, it's kind of just a simple like door. There's nothing crazy to it. So you kind of do have a biohazard scanner. You can scan shit. A biohazard bio scanner. So yeah, you can you can open the door relatively easy if you want to. I open the door. Uh, you open the door into Six what black dragon? <laughs> yep. You would describe as the, as a sort of a command center. Um, it's a central nervous system of the base and primary communication station. Um, there are there's a some sort of computing device, right? Uh, monitors, whatever. Um, the central computer and communication instruments are all smashed. Um, you see that there is a corpse of a marine slumped over uh, the controls. Check the tax. Uh, as you walk over, you can see that he has a single gunshot wound to the head. Um, self flicking the, uh, and you can see that in one hand, um, in one hand, he's holding a revolver and in the other hand, he holds, uh, some papers. Um, uh, you said dog tags. Sorry. I will tell I you did. dog tags. Uh, this is second Lieutenant Kaplan. Hey, it's the person. They are no longer viable. His, uh, his, um, his body has paper cuts all over as well. I take the tags first to mm-hmm. prove that we found the dead guy. Mm-hmm. I check what the papers in their hand have, uh, if there's anything relevant. It is an org chart for the SAMHSA 6 mission. Mm. Cody has his phone in his hand. I feel like we're getting a handout. Jeff says, Tom, we're busy. Tell him we got shit We're going busy, on. Jeff. Fuck's sake. We're killing stuff. Come over here and play. I think he sent it to me last night, and I just now finally saw it. Oh. Uh, well, good job. Is this You're a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> Troy almost lost it. <laughs> Holy crap. What is going on? Oh, I don't your game. It's like super zoomed in. So it was like, you'll see this org chart. It was like just showing me one person. Uh, on the org chart? There's only one person? No, I was so zoomed in. I opened my phone expecting Uh-oh. to see the whole page and I was just seeing one thing. It's probably not a great picture, but I can send another one later. But that is now in the um, game chat. Basically an org chart of all the individuals. Just keep checking those guys off. Um. <laughs> and I will actually see um, if I can find a better image of it, because I bet I can pull one from Drive now that I think about it. So I take the papers. I, of course, take the revolver, because you can never have too many guns. Mm-hmm. Now you said most of the command center was smashed up. Yeah, uh, this computer's this computer stuff is 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 pretty badly damaged. Mm. All of it, or just most of it? Most. Got it. Is the generator in this room? I'm not in the room. Mm. I shouldn't ask questions. I'm sorry. Mm. We're getting there. So I'm slightly confused. What's new here? I actually I actually picked it from the PDF, so this this will probably be a little bit more visible for you. There we go. That's probably a bit better. What are you confused about, Troy? He was holding this. Yes. That showed a note that he's dead? Hmm. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming these acronyms mean the same thing that, that I'm thinking. Yeah. You found most of these dead people already. That is interesting, though. The ones that say KIA, you mean? Yeah. yeah. It's from the future. Um, Probably was supposed to wait a little bit to give that to you. <laughs> there you go. My mm. bad. It's, no, it's okay. For some reason, I was like, I didn't, I didn't put two and two together. Well, it just seems weird that they would say, he's holding this. And I'm like, it, it, he's holding something that tells him he's dead? That seems yeah, a little weird. I think weird. it was to help you keep track of who's dead and who's alive. Well, you make a good know. point, though. Uh, I'm Pretend not too like, worried about it. <laughs> I wonder if there was intent to... Well, I guess I know a, a fair point. Something I should have... Player choice sometimes causes some intriguing situations. Yeah. So. No worries. So is there a way to access power here or is that somewhere no. else? Power is somewhere else. Got that. Um, and, uh, okay. So I'm trying to take note from what the uh, the book was telling us. I don't mm. know that we want to go running towards the sound, right? <laughs> Well, we have other options. We still have that last room to go to yeah, before I, having to go anywhere near that thing. I kind of want to check. Kind of want to check that room. So, like, mm-hmm. sort of, almost like triangle formation. The two of us walking backwards, looking down the hall. And don't forget, we still have a whole squad with us too. That's true, but he's not gonna fucking allow those people to do anything of of note. Sacrificial pawns are still sort useful as meat shields. shields. Meat shields. Just because they don't talk or have, hmm, what's the word I'm looking for here? Hmm, agency doesn't mean they can't be useful. It's like a screwdriver. 
It's a tool and a weapon. Oh, the actual, I thought you were talking about a drink. Um, Not everything has to involve alcohol. (laughs) Not that that can't also be both a tool and a weapon. This is me we're talking about. So No, this chart is interesting, <laughs> but also I'm not sure we were supposed to have it right away. Yeah. Mm, Which so just, but that might be a that may just be a typo in the game. Like if the game states that we get yeah. this thing here, it's kind of just the game's fault, whoever wrote the game. Could be that. And at the end of the day, it seems like it's more of a checkoff list of who we can find that's relevant to our mission. Because we just found the main military guy. He's dead. We have his dog tag, so Moss doesn't give us crap about it. Yeah. So let's go to to the unconnected room that has nothing to do with that sound. So you're going back this way. We found... I thought you gave us a different name. Well, well, I would... To prevent your own spoilers, I wouldn't pay attention to some of the KIA Yeah, I would just yet. not leave well, no, any of that shit. Did, did, did you not say one of the one of the bodies we found was Olsen? Uh, yes. I thought you were writing down the dead guy's names. I wasn't. Oh. There were three people we were told to look for. Those are the names I wrote down. That's fair. Um... Yeah, Resnick. I, I want to say Resnick Olson. You sound. You found Resnick. You found uh, Lange. You found Xavier, and I think you found Olson so far. And Kaplan. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. I feel like that's a lot more dead people than tog tags. I've that we've checked. Resnick was in the freezer. Uh-huh. Lange was in the pantry. Uh-huh. Xavier was on the floor. And then this guy. And so yeah, that's four. You're right. That's four. Yeah, that's four, not five. Oh no, it was Happy Birthday Olson. That's where I keep that's, thinking. Oh, that's Happy right. Birthday it's Olson's Olson. birthday. That's right. Olson's somewhere. <laughs> Dead. Um, um, no, yeah. I feel like if that's uh, the, what we were saying when while you were gone, if the game is written that we get this document here, that's the game's fault for giving us that info. Well, uh, it's a there's a there's ways in which I think that you should explore it, and you've explored it in different ways, which creates for interesting things. Is one of those, I guess, at this point. Yeah, yeah. fair point. Mystery door. Uh, which yeah, way to the right? East. You're going east. Okay. East it is. Okay, that open, unlocked. Yeah, uh, it's just a door you can push your way in. Uh, you see a small medical area with an operating room inside and an observation and analysis lab separated by a glass wall. Does the container that we took uh, appear to be replicated somewhere in this room? Are there other containers that look like that one? Uh, probably. Are they it's empty? kind of a generic container. It's not like it's it's a very obvious container. Yeah, but we know that one has liquid in it. Correct. If I kind of pick up a couple of them up, are they empty? Uh, hard to say. Are they also kept cold? No. Um... No bodies, no... Well, so the... Um, so this is a med lab, <laughs> medical yeah, lab? it's a medical area. So you kind of have like a... So you are on, if I'm, if I'm understanding this correctly, uh, yeah. So you walk in and you're in an observation and analysis lab. So you can clearly see like, and then there's a glass, a glass window with a door. And then the actual like medical bay is beyond that. So you right now, um, uh, you, you are on the observation side of the glass. Um, there's a small bank of com- computer terminals all powered down and there are piles of loose paper and a log book. What's on the log book uh you find um what's in the log <laughs> it seems to be notes from dr edem yeah that's an important person dr edem mm-hmm. who's on the org chart that we shouldn't look at he's someone that you are if shit hits the fan he's someone that you are yeah. expected to recover sure um kind of notes uh you're gonna take some time to read through them? yeah sure okay as you're reading through them do the other folks want to do anything i want to go towards the medical center yeah see what's in there Leave this guy to his death. Fair enough. Um, you can tell oh, that higher than yours. Again, there is there is a glass wall, so you can see somewhat through it. It is obscured. It is dark, hmm. so you can see through the glass. You can't see a lot of stuff, but you can see that the med bay looks trashed. Um, piles of equipment, mm. smash stuff. Mm. Um, uh, you wouldn't necessarily know what all it is, but like, there's probably like a back to tank, like a med pod type thing. Mm-hmm. It's it's smashed. Obviously, you do synthetic um, biological material, various mm-hmm. cartridges, containers, specimen containment tubes, upturned surgical bed. You you there's all kinds of just it's it's a wreck in there. Um, mm. But not surprisingly, the 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 med bay door, if you decide to check it, is locked. So I can see it's a mess. The door's locked, and I don't see anything alive in there. No, that's good. I don't know. Um, scanner. I don't know. Just I do have a scanner. I'm using my eyes first. 
uh lucas um the notes from dr edom mm -hmm. uh some of the latest entries in the log uh say that um he was excited at the discovery of something that he is calling crab schlader or crab song crab song yeah. i presume he's german Crab people, crab. Um, people. He is like specifying. Crab, talk like people. He is. He is. He he notes that it is a shrill shriek that the carcinids use um, in order to replicate. Shrill shriek. The carcinids. How do you spell that? C a r c i n i d s. I D S. Yeah, carcinids. So kind of like you used to replicate. Correct. As in reproduce. Yes. By sound. Interesting. Um, are there any sketches of carcinids in this? Um, I feel like that's a, that's a fair of like what that would. That's look a fair like? question. You you're seeing various sort of sketches of like arthropods, yeah. um, crab like appendages, things with claws. Yeah, probably things with claws. Roughly yes. three claws. Um, nah, you got more. You got more crab pincer. You're not seeing anything specifically with three claws. Okay. Um, but you are seeing what, hmm. what appears to be like structurally small crab type things. Uh, is there anybody in our group that might have any idea um, what a carcinid might be? Um, I mean, you, you know that they were here discovering um, uh, arthropods. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're guessing that that's probably connected? Sure. Arthropods typically are aquatic, are they not? Not my what, what are crabs? Are they not aquatic? Yeah. Yeah. But we're in the jungle. Yeah. So no one said anything about oceans or we other are, water. You also took cryo sleep to get to this planet where an android is opening doors with the batteries in his body. Yeah, that has nothing to do with my question. <laughs> Suspension of disbelief. Like through everything else we're going through, you're now right now. You're gonna be like, it's I just seen it's, a body of water. I don't, yeah, that's what that, that's what I'm saying. Like it's there's there's arthropods, but no water are, nearby. Are you confusing arthropods with cephalopods? Possibly. Okay. Um, moving right along. <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> like, well, cephalopods are squid, right? I well, you crabs also... aren't cephalopods, are they? They're, aren't they other pods? Well, here's the thing. Crabs and those kind of things, mm -hmm. they can move around outside of water. <laughs> like crabs do? Crabs can move outside of water. Arthropods are members of the phylum Arthropoda, which means joined leg. Arthropods includes insects, arachnids, yeah. and crustaceans. I guess okay. there are more yeah. kinds of beetles in the world than any other type of animal, invertebrate, or otherwise. Arthropods okay. is a phylum that includes insects and spiders. Okay, arthropods so it, it very is, broad. It is okay. Never mind then. Yeah, because for some reason cephalopods Lucas are stuck in the was ocean. Just equating that only to water. Um, arthropods can survive pretty much anywhere. Gotcha. That's a fair point. Um, so it's bugs. Since they are not looking up the other word that I had to check the definition of, carcinid is a member of the crab family. Uh, yeah. Hence the title. All right. Well, part of the title. I mean, I'll take the, the logbook with me and explain what kind of what I found to other people while they're looking around. There is one thing that you did note uh, also that's interesting sure. is that uh, this has several of Edom's, Dr. Edom's like specific notes. Mm -hmm. um, and he had, he he seems to almost begrudgingly admit that Hinton, uh, who is the company assigned Android, um did much of the legwork for the discovery of the crab song. Um, but of course, Edom was the one who really put two and two together. The legwork was just done by the android. So there's an android walking around here that... The one you're supposed to get the logic core from. Yeah, who did most of the work. That they said was of utmost importance. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't found that guy yet. Nope. Could look on the org chart and cheat. Um, is he alive? I don't know. Are any androids really alive? What is mm. transhumanism? I don't know. Please discuss. Do you feel, do Android? you have consciousness? Speak up. Are we talking about- What about your character? <laughs> have we all seen Ted 2? That's where I was going to ask that question. Are we talking about <laughs> me or the character right now? <laughs> have we all seen Ted 2? Uh, I don't have fucking- Can a machine have a soul? Anyway, um- so I'm looking into the med bay. It's a wreck. Would I be able to use my bioscanner to identify anything alive in there since I can't see it? Uh, or would the glass interfere too much? No, I'd say you can use it if you want. I would like to do that. It's I don't want to go into the piranhas. So what does the bioscanner do again? Can you remind me? Or mm -hmm. Troy had it, didn't he? Where's, he where's the book? Somewhere. It's in the book. Yeah, it should there's be the book. book. Yeah. I can find the book, thing in the book. Bioscanner. He just Googled it. Should be in the equipment section no, I think, right after. I think creation. he had had it he had he pulled it up on the on the on the app yeah but it should be bioscanner long range allows the user to scan for signs of life can tell the location of signs of life but not what the life is blocked by some material 
Yes. Okay. So, so, so I mostly wanted to know if there is life in there before going in there to check things yes. out. Yes. There is life. You get pings of life. Lots of it? Uh, no. No. Like small, indistinct pings. Hmm. No. <laughs> Yeah, nope. Get the flamethrower. Get the flamethrower. Flamethrower. <laughs> I feel like Alex just rolled a fear safe. He did. I don't know. I, I don't know if Mark the Android needs one, but Alex, <laughs> the person, just failed a fear save. His stress yeah. level just went up by one. <laughs> no. He doesn't want to start a new character tonight. Is his problem? No, no. I I have seen this trope. I am not opening the door because I know what comes out. A bunch of very small, very hungry creatures. You don't know that. You open the door. I'm reading the book. Do, do, do. Reading Eldritch Knowledge. Do, do, do. You don't wait till Troy gets back. Uh, so to catch you up, a big thing Lucas read through the journal. I can um, read. They're called the Carcinids. Yeah, Carcinids. Carcinids, which are arthropods. Yeah, it's not. I don't like that. Um, mm-hmm. They they don't they, have claws. They replicate through crab song. They sing, according to Doctor Edom. They uh, screech. It's a, it's a shriek, oh, they, yeah. they shrill yeah. and apparently. Fuck. Also, uh, hit the uh, android Hinton figured out a lot of it. Yeah. Um, uh, he went over and found out that the med bay is totally fucked. And he's like, uh, the part behind the glass. Well, describe, right. Describing yeah, totally fucked is different than what you just said. But say, yeah. Smashed, there are multiple life signs behind smashed it. Smashed equipment. Well, we were building up to that bit. We'll get smashed there. Smashed equipment, blah, blah, blah. He started to go for the door and he's like, let me use my bio scanner. I said, you detect life in there. And he's like, I forget what he said, but it, I was like, mm, four or five indistinct small life. And he just went, nope, <laughs> nope. And that's where we're at. Okay. So he can tell you, since you guys are more together than I am, he can tell you what's behind that glass. I will put on my infrared goggles. Mm -hmm. Are are there heat signatures? (sighs) There would, there would have to be. Um, You should be able to tell what size they are. Yeah, no, I mean, most of the heat signatures that you're getting are only, I'm holding my hands about the size of a football, maybe. Okay. Bigger than I'd like. Little, key, little kitty. Little kitty cat. <laughs> or five of those in this there. This is batting around in the trash. Or five kitty cats. Bat, bat. They want to play. Bat, bat. It's Who loves kitty? Can we actually see these things without the infrared or are they invisible? Uh, you, it, the, you, It's hard to determine exactly what they are. Like, I'm not going to treat this stuff as like, blam, I know exactly what it is and they're three meters this way. But you can get, because again, the whole room is tipped and flipped and whatever. But you can see that there are signs of heat and signs of life on the floor over there somewhere, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm just asking. I use my bio scanner. He uses infrared. We know there's something in there. Can we see it with the naked eye? No. I'm leaving the door closed. <laughs> the window is that obstructed? No, I think that the room is that fucked up. Okay. You've got overturned operating tables and you missed the whole thing where there's like a back to tank in there that's been shattered and equipment's everywhere, lights pulled down. Are these things moving? No. Or, but we, we see life forms that are just sitting still. You see uh, three or four sources of heat and he detects four or five signs of life. Same general direction. He's, he's seeing more life than I'm registering heat signatures. A little, a little, little gray. Oh, it's enough. Word. It's enough that like you're like the the heat map and the life signs don't 100 percent overlap. But and with that information about the reproduction, I do not want to deal with a swarm of these things. No. So I say go the other direction. <laughs> So you obviously have down to sort of straight where the noise is, or you could go back through the wreck and then remove that barricade if you wanted to. You'd rather circumnavigate. You all look very uncomfortable. You all right? I am (laughs) interested in why there's a barricade seemingly to keep something from coming into that hallway. Right. That's that's what I would, yeah, what, what one would yes. gather. You would get the sense that there was a barricade keeping something into the, the the mess. I mean, it's a little indistinct because it's just furniture thrown. But yes, you get the sense that it was probably barricading that way. Yeah. Mm. I don't want to go through the barricade. I do, too, because if 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 we're definitely thinking the noise is coming from the northwest corner, then I kind of want to make that the last stop. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what if it's the android that we need the info from? He can then, hang out then he could yeah <laughs> we don't need him alive what was this room did we, did we look in this one no no we haven't gone to that side at all so the entire west side of this facility let's is go just... through the barricade sure. and head to the southern room 
Um, okay. So as you kind of step out into that hallway, you've got um, you've got a, a door to your left. There, the hallway kind of runs a little bit to your right, and then there's a door, and then it runs all the way to the end of the hall where the noise is coming from. There's a door there as well. Um, is you um is you sort of uh there there is a door i guess i don't want to force you guys to open a door if you'd like to open the door or not the one to the left correct as you as you turn and you and you look there is a door there and there is um probably in um whatever the space equivalent of a sharpie is i guess you would still write right you would still handwrite yeah. things um so your aries approved space sharpie in <laughs> like bright red mm-hmm. um there's like graffiti on the door and, and it says comms off hmm. i turn my comm off <clears throat> totally here <laughs> this is this door no no, no. far bottom that is the south <sighs> I thought you said the noise was coming from here. I thought the noise was up here. It is coming from there. I was confused. It is coming from there. So I'm more inclined to find out about this noise. You're going to go back up to the northwest corner then? Well, there's still one more room to explore, but what do you think, Troy? Well, we haven't actually seen what's in this room. Correct. I just, I figure if, you know, don't open dead inside was written on the door, you might stop. So seeing comms off, I I figured it might give you pause and you may, may want to change your mind. I mean, it it has, (laughs) but so these people have purposefully like turned off. Are we, are we saying short communications or, I mean, obviously they said they lost the satellite contact. So mm-hmm. did mm-hmm. they turn off all communications? Why would they do that then? I'm thinking of something similar to the birds. You've seen that movie, right? God, a mm-hmm. very long time Where ago. Where there's the radio tower and it makes all the avians just go completely bonkers. Okay, yeah. I'm thinking a situation like that. And considering that these things make screeching sounds when they're reproducing. Yeah, there's a shrill <laughs> yeah. high pitch we can't hear. So. All right, let's check out the middle circular room. Okay. As you move towards the north, um, do you get um, sort of a, a slight whiff of, um, has anybody ever welded before? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, you you know that smell when you weld Ozone. like that sort of like yeah that's a good like that like kind of a burny smell yeah um you see uh that it is uh that that room is the armory Ooh, anything um, good? good so choice. it is a rugged interior um interior metal cage lined with lockers uh that was at one point covered by a, an industrial blast door that industrial blast door has been ripped from its hinges and sort of off to the off to the side now um you could see a giant pile of um, melted metal uh, and all the lockers are open and empty. If you think about it right, like it... The armory would be protected by a door, would probably have an interior gate and would have lockers on the inside. Mm-hmm. The The door is like crushed in, ripped off its hinges, whatever. The metal gate that would protect it is now unlocked and open and all the lockers are empty and there's just this pile of just slag in the middle of the room. So they gathered all of the weapons into the middle of the room and melted, melted started them. Melting them. OK, this is getting really weird. I don't feel like humans would have done that. That would take a lot of heat. I mean, we don't know what's going on. That would take a fuck ton of heat. Sure. Do we see any scorch marks under the pile? Uh, no. You don't see any scorch marks? marks. You you don't see any scorch marks or claw marks anywhere. Mm -hmm. Um, any caustic residue? No. So these things were, uh, I don't like the idea of what caused that. Zero sense. No, there's a few things that could do that, but I don't like the idea of any of them. Share with the class. Um, at certain frequencies, stuff just starts to come apart. It definitely looks more. It definitely looks more melted. It's not disassembled. Oh, good. Um, That's less terrifying. But you're not seeing no, not. or understanding how that process happened or if it if it did turn into a like because if it were if this pile so say it's a pile of weapons or whatever it is you know that's what you, uh, you guys are operating under that assumption i'm not saying that's either true or not but <clears throat> see everybody gathered a pile of weapons together and they like melted it with intense heat you're right it would scorch the floor it would cause other things you're not seeing any signs of that 
And it's not like somebody melted it to slag outside and then drug it in here. Like, so you're not sure that you, you're not seeing a method by which if it is weapons that this would occur. Are we seeing any discernible shapes among the, the slag or is it just one big pile of melted metal? As you get closer, you do see that it appears to be discarded, melted weapons. Hmm. You right? see the butt of a rifle sticking up or something. I think about like uh, you guys ever like atomize or melt something and fall out like oh, it just yeah. kind of turns Absolutely. to dust and there's like uh, the odd bone or something sticking out of it like that. Yeah. Any ammo left over? Or did they melt that too? It is empty, 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 empty. For shame. So wasteful. Uh, they don't is want it, us to get bones. Is it, is it a, is it a like mound? Is it sort of congealed as a sphere? I would say mound is probably okay. better. <laughs> The sphere thing would definitely be more yeah. terrifying. Yeah, it floats. <laughs> well, no, it just if if you put something in a point in the middle and it gathered everything and somehow fused it all together, Ooh, that's, that's a fun idea. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, there's several things Black that could do bomb. this, but I mean, none yeah. of them yeah. sound Some good. Spells in D and D that like you pull shit We're dealing with and gravity ball space yeah. wizards, monstrous some sort space of wizards. crab creatures. Crab people. Crab people. <sighs> Talk like crab. Walk like people. Are we still hearing the rustling? Yeah. It's not tired yet. Go home, buddy. Go home. All right. We it's will, an android. They don't get tired. We no, we don't. Slowly move our way to the north. Okay. Meet shields first. Our title track, Sounds from the End, was composed by Nicholas Judy and is licensed for use through Dark Fantasy Studio. Like what you heard? Check out more episodes online at rancorsbrothel.com, on YouTube, or anywhere you can download podcasts. Enjoy talking nerdy? Follow the podcast and chat with other listeners on the Facebook page, Fans of the Rancors Brothel. Most of all, keep circulating the tapes. Much love, everyone. <laughs>